Greetings, friends. My name is Jeff Crittenden. I'm serving as the Vice Chair of the Foundation's Board. As we enter into the time of Lent, we thought it would be a great opportunity to spend a few minutes to let you know about some of the great efforts happening all over our country and beyond that are supported by our United Church Foundation. Lent traditionally is a time of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, a period of time when we focus on relationships. Now we all know that relationships come in a variety of experiences, from complicated to supportive and grace-filled. During the time of Lent, we're invited to ponder our relationships, and as John Wesley reminds us, to shed that which weighs us down, which is to say, spend time considering what is of value and what needs some attention or discarding altogether. I sometimes think of my grandparents during Lent. I remember how, as a child, their house was filled with so much. Then, as they moved from a house to an apartment to a nursing home to long-term care, I saw what things were of particular value to them. Great Grandma's china, Great Grandpa's table, but the most valuable were some particular pictures and particular handwritten notes. The most important things weren't things at all, but relationships. Relationships that reminded them of a time when... Lent is a time to sort through our lives and remember who we are and whose we are, where we come from, and where one day we trust we experience life beyond the grave. That is one of the reasons that I value the Foundation. Our Foundation supports relationships, whether it's the Fred Victor's Fred Fill a Home, which provides furnishing and a place to call home for those who are coming to Canada for the first time, or perhaps have never known what it is to have a permanent address. Or Wesley's seasoned soul dinner, where so many gather around a table to break bread, or the Ministry of Lambeth United in the nursing homes, reminding people that they are never forgotten. Or Coverdale, where there with warmth as incarcerated women are released, are met with a smile and an open hand. Or maybe it was in Sherbrooke, as a community is learning how to worship together in French and English. On and on this list goes. On and on the supported relationships go. It is certainly a hallmark of the United Church of Canada, one which I am tremendously proud of. As we enter into our time of Lent, remember some of the stories of communities that are being supported by us. Look around your community. How can our foundation support your community? How can we support you in nurturing those relationships? Thank you for your ministry. Thank you on behalf of the United Church Foundation. We look forward to hearing from you.